My name is Cornelius Schumacher, and I would like to talk about an initiative I started over the last couple of weeks. Uh, that's the FAIR Web Services Initiative. And what is this all about? Uh, we have achieved a lot of freedom by running free software ourselves. So Nextcloud is a great example. You can control about your data by running the software yourself. But actually, we also all use a lot of web services, which are run by other people. And there, we give up a lot of the freedoms we have achieved. So what can we do to actually get some of our freedoms back and make sure that we have the same control about our freedoms when we are using web services and not only when we are using software we run ourselves? And to illustrate the point, um, I created a nice web service um, that's Bike Shed as a Service. It's brand new, it's awesome, it's great. Um, you can upload your bikes there and you get this beautiful protective shed which makes sure your bikes are well protected and dry and everything. Um, it's green because I like green and I took the freedom to choose the color of the bike shed because I'm running the service. And because I'm a nice guy, um, I release everything as free software, of course. So that's what I do. Uh, this is the complete code. I hereby release it under the AGPL. So feel free to use it. Feel free to um, do everything what you want with that. It's complete. Uh, it works. And it's free. So we are all fine, right? Every, everything is great. Unless you actually read my terms of service. Um, well, you probably can't. Um, there's one sentence in there, and because I'm a nice guy, I will tell you what, is, what, is, what it's saying there. It says, um, you um, give exclusive user rights uh, of all your bike data to the service provider. So this is only because I need to earn some money and I need to create a business model on top of that. So I, I need some rights from you. Yeah, but it's a very simple clause. Just, just click OK and you will be fine. And it's actually not only about your data. Um, of course, I have all the logs of uh, the service which is running, and everything is locked there. So I own the data, of course, as well. So um, I, I need that because I want to run some business on top of that to earn money to create free software. So, but it's a free service, of course. You, you have free uploads. You have unlimited storage and everything. You, you can use that forever. And again, because I'm a nice guy, I provide you a convenience feature, so you are allowed to download your data um, in the original form if you pay me just $5 a month. Uh, there's a great API for that, um, maybe. Um, and I also have the enterprise account, which is also great, um, because uh, this is for my friends. Uh, they're my friends in the insurance and advertisement industry, so, so they like to have this data, so I can earn some money, so I can write better free software for, for all of you. So you just pay with your data, you just pay with your money, and um, the industry pays for the rest. So that's, that's great. Um, but is that actually great? Have we solved the problem? And there are actually much many other problems. Like uh, some, I, I touched some of them. Terms of service, lock-in, uh, sustainability. What happens if I go out of business? Who protects your bikes then? Uh, privacy, metadata, uh, the triple payment. You pay in all kinds of forms. Uh, security, hackability, can you change the color of the bike shed? I'm running the service, so it will be green. And there are a couple of attempts to solve this. Um, uh, some are quite familiar to uh, some of you. Um, and I think they are all great. Um, but what is missing is something which puts all these things together and really uh, covers the full um, web service experience, basically. And that's why, why I started to collect things, and I started this initiative of FAIR web services to collect criteria what makes a web service actually FAIR, so that you can run it without giving up your freedoms. And I use the term FAIR because free is kind of ambiguous and can be misleading, and it's kind of reflecting what this is about. It's more about a contract between the user and the operator. It's, uh, it's not so easy as in free software, I can enforce everything by a license. And the FAIR web services idea is based on um, five principles, substitutability, so that I can actually exchange the service by something else, I can run the better bike shed, and the user has the freedom to choose the bike shed and the color, transparency, that I know what is happening with my data, where it's stored, how it's processed, of course, respecting privacy, making sure the data is secure, and a FAIR model of operation, so paying for access to your own data is kind of not FAIR. And to express that in more detail, um, we collected a number of criteria, and I won't 
go through all the, uh, of them, but there have to be APIs how to access the data. There has to be clear terms of use. There have to be document processes how data is accessed. Um, paying for services, okay, but uh, artificial barriers for paying for your own data, that's something which is not fair. So these are the criteria um, I want to discuss, and we're at the beginning here, and I would really like to invite you to join the discussion so that we maybe can come to a state where we can put a batch. This is a fair web service on a website where operators have a way how to tell users, I'm respecting these criteria, I want this cyber web service to be fair, and also for users to be able to choose. So we could start with a kind of a self-certification so that uh, once we have a finished set of criteria, people can say, okay, I respect them, and users can use that. But this could also grow into a more serious thing, like, like a professional certification with an organization behind that, which is actually checking if the service provider um, adheres, adheres to, to the criteria. So this is the idea. I want to discuss this further. Um, there is the website, fairwebservices.org. It's not running the bike shed, but it contains all the information I told you. Um, so and this should also be the place where we can discuss things. So I invite you to go there. I invite you to leave your comments there um, and your thoughts. And uh, today at uh, 14.30 in H3004, um, I will hold a workshop and I invite you to be there so we can discuss these criteria. We can make sure that we agree on something which actually uh, retains our freedoms when we are running free web services. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you.